All right, this is the Bible, Bible Gateway, and, and uh, I do this under the Fair Use Act. I don't want to make any money out of it. I'm just showing. This is Revelations 12.10, and this is word for word literal. And this actually happened, and I'm going to prove it to you, chemistry. Here's what it says. It says, The woman and the dragon, a great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and a crown of twelve stars on her head. She was pregnant and cried out in pain as she was about to give birth. It's about uh, giving birth in space. Now this is the this is the part you know. This is the part I'm talking about because this leads to chemistry. Birth in space is afterbirth. I'm going to explain this. It's afterbirth. Now, then it says after all this happened and the dragon and they had a big fight and then it says then war broke out in the heavens. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, a dragon and a serpent and his angels fought. I'm going to show you, chemistry says that that's a fact. And here's the facts. In, and Velikowski had recorded this, and this is exactly what happened. Red dust fell deeply on the earth. Red dust is blood. Blood is ferrous oxides. It's, it's, it's iron. And it fell deeply from the afterbirth. Next fell shards of stone at a certain size as they were, about a hundred pounds each or somewhere around there. And the way umbilical cord is, is constructed, it's constructed as, as like a pine cone structure with little tiny plates that, that fit together like a Chinese finger trap. And that's exactly what would happen, exploding shards coming through. And that's the umbilical cord made out of collagen matter Num uh, collagen type number one, which is calcium and all that business, it's bone material, and it's it's what we call limestone. And 90% of the limestone is nothing more than tendons from living creatures that are here on Earth. Now, so now we've got the blood, and we've got the stones. Now you say, oh, that could be anything. Well, maybe so. How about this? The manna. Manna was dried milk. Okay dried milk, pellets, it came through the atmosphere and atomized into coriander-sized pellets, which are the sides of coriander seeds, little like babies, and they fell on the earth in copious quantities and fed everybody and everything, and they landed in the water and turned the water to milk and the land to honey. They used it for ointments, they used it for everything, they used it to bathe with, they use it to eat, they use it to make uh, breads and things. I mean, it was, and now, here's the smoking gun. We got somebody giving birth on outer space, blood fell, which is the iron, placenta, uh, I mean, the umbilical cord fell, which is the, the stones, and now the gelatinous placenta, which is called uh, lactogenic, uh, what was it called, uh, lactogenic, um, Proteins, they're lactogenic uh, amino proteins, whatever they are, but they're 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 they're, they're milk. The pro the, the, the it's it's a gelatinous gushy bag of lactogenic proteins, and that would translate into a milky substance, which would atomize coming through the earth, uh, coming through this, and, and then it would rain like rain. And that's what has been said in the Bible. It was said in the, the Egyptian papyrus. It was said in China. It was said in South America. It was said everywhere. And even the American Indians talked about having to hide in the mud to keep from getting killed with the stones and the, the heat and so forth. This was a worldwide catastrophe. And you, you have to watch worlds in collision and study Velikovsky. He's the hero here. He knows he knew this. He knew everything. He just didn't know that it's even more than he thought. So, but I have the evidence now. I have the science. I have the proof. So, somebody come up with a better theory than that. I'd like to see it. By the way, this is Comet 67P and it is biological and I believe it's from the war in heaven. And this is a ten, uh, the strap that breaks off from the tendinous muscle, muscle material. This is the fibers of the strap of the tendon. The video is on this. It is undeniably what this is. It is a tendon assembly. The emphasis point is at the bottom. It's, there's no question about it. And the video is called um, Comet 67P Mysterious Features Discussed. Life? Question mark.
No question about it. So that's what it is, and the and these are the tendon straps that are in uh, the mud fossils. You see what happens? They come up and they stop just like that in boards. I have all the evidence to support the things that I'm saying, and the Bible, in its most extreme, appears to be correct.